Hi guys, Twinkie here with a video of, well, as you can tell from the title and possibly the picture you see right now, it's from Star Wars Episode 8. Um, I've been doing just some small theories, um, like on the side when I'm not doing my Walking Dead ones, and what I think could happen with Star Wars Episode 8. So, I mean, I watched Rogue One, I loved it, I've still, I've seen it twice, I want to see it a third time, still, I mean, but I have other things to do. But I was very, very happy when I saw that movie. I was very excited. I liked that more than Star Wars Episode Seven, honestly. I, I liked Rogue One better. But um, anyways, back to it. Now, here I have some uh, small theories, small, uh, you know, different thoughts of what I think is going to happen in Star Wars Episode Eight. Even though we're almost a little less than a year away from it, I still have my own little thoughts about it. So I'm just going to put these into perspective now. Now, if we start from episode 1 through 3, that was a trilogy. So, Phantom Menace, Clone, Attack of the Clones, and uh, Revenge of the Sith. All one trilogy. A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. The original trilogy, but all one trilogy. As we know now, it is The Force Awakens, and there is The Last Jedi. Those are the two out of the last three that would possibly be made. Despite all the side stories, such as... You know, Rogue One, the Clone Wars animated series, the Rebel series, the Han Solo movie, the Boba Fett movie they're making, the Yoda one they're going to be making. Despite all those, I think those will be the last movies like in like in those story arcs. But 7, 8, and 9 will be a trilogy. And I think episodes 1, 4, and 7 all had something relevant. I mean... They're all, like, kind of the same. Now, we can take out episode one if you want. I just keep it there because I like it. But, I mean, we can do it. I mean, episode one, Qui-Gon Jinn is the equivalent to episodes four, Obi-Wan, who is the equivalent of Han Solo in episode seven. Uh, episode one, you have Anakin, Luke, and then you have Rey. They're all Force users, and they all have the older, wiser person to who found them and who uh, can start, like, t telling them about the Force. Even though Obi-Wan trained Anakin, Qui-Gon was the one who found him. It's like, you could be the chosen one. Now, we can take out episode one if you want. I mean, I wouldn't, but I mean, you can. But if you take the episode two, episode five, and possibly episode eight, there's all these different things. So, there's a big battle in episode two. It's Attack of the Clones. It's the Clone Wars. There's them on Geonosis versus the CIS and the Geonosians. Then there's the Hoth battle. On the, well, obviously Hoth with the Empire and the Rebels. Now, this one will be possibly another huge battle, such as the Resistance and um, the First Order. More fight. I hope there's a huge battle. I love the I love the battle scenes. But we can take out Episode Two from here. We're not going to go three and six and possibly not whatever. We're just going to stick with five and eight right now. Now, what I think will happen is since I mean Episode Seven and Four again, like I said, Obi Wan and Han Solo. They're basically the equivalent to each other in that one. They're both the mentors to a Force user such as Luke and Rey. Um, you have the silly droid in the, both of those movies such as R2-D2 and C-3PO's banter and then you have BB-8. Um, then episode uh, 7, you have the bad guy, obviously, Kylo Ren. And then you also have Darth Vader in episode 4. Now, episode 8... I think will have more to be equivalent to episode 5. I think what will happen is that Kylo Ren was trying... The, the reason he died, uh, killed um, Han Solo, I think it was because he's trying to cut off all of his ties to the light side, such as his mother, his dad, his sister, if he has a sister, hint, hint. Um, uh, even if it's just small things like Chewbacca, the droids, anybody. Just anything that he would have been become with to be, you know, a light side. He's trying to cut all the ties to that off so we can be fully dark. But I think that's I think that's why he killed Han Solo. So anyways, as I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. Um, blah, 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 Kylo Ren and Rey. Now, I think we will find out whose Rey's parents are, which will later be revealed as Leia and Han's daughter. I do think that she is their daughter, and I've been saying that forever. Everyone's like, oh, it's Luke's daughter. She's a Skywalker. Oh, well, she technically would be anyways, but... 
I think, like, a bunch of people, like, it's Luke's daughter, or it's a Kenobi, or all these other random theories out there. No, I think that Rey is Han Solo and uh, Princess Leia's daughter. It's pretty obvious that it could be. I mean, it's right there, right in front of you. And I think they knew that. I think Han Solo knew, and I think uh, Rey, uh, Leia knew. And I think Chewbacca knows. I'm not sure, but I think that could be it. Now, I think the, f I think the first thing that's going to be similar here is the big reveals. I mean, some people are going to be shocked, some people won't be. Such as Darth Vader saying, Luke, I am your father. I think it's going to be Kylo Ren saying that, like, that he's her brother or something like that. Han Solo was her dad, making her even more mad, I guess. Um, I do think that the lightsaber, like, not the lightsaber, well, yeah, the lightsaber, technically, that she was handing to Luke in the end of the seventh, I think the v vision she, uh, she saw, such as, like, you know, you hear Obi-Wan's voice, you see the Knights of Rey, um, uh, blah, 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 Ren, the Knights of Ren, sorry, um, and all this other stuff, I do think that was all shown, and she saw the future, and I think you'll see the Knights of Ren in the eighth movie, I think she's gonna fight the Knights of Ren, but as I saw, I don't know. But I think we'll see the Knights of Ren. Um, I do think that, hopefully, again, like I said, there's a big battle. I think we will find out the identity of Supreme Leader Snoke. I'm pretty sure that's the name. Which a lot of people have these theories, like it could be Darth Maul, it could be Darth Sidious, or the Emperor, whatever you want to call him. It could be Mace Windu, which is a stupid theory. I don't know why, it's just a really stupid theory. Why would Mace Windu be bad? Um, but, I, by the way, side note, I don't think Mace Windu's dead, by the way, I just don't think he's, no, I think he's gone, he's alive, I just think he's somewhere else in the galaxy. Anyways, I think that it, it could be a completely new character, we don't know, we don't know who this could be, it could be a completely new character, but I personally think that Supreme Leader Snoke is Darth Plagueis. Which was the Emperor's master. Who, you know, could do all this stuff with Jedi's uh, midichlorians. And create life. Which will bring me back to one of my points later. Which I started... Because I, I rewatched a lot of the, uh, all the movies. And I started picking up on some stuff. But I'll get back to that in a minute. Anyways, the vision that Rey had when she picked up that lightsaber. I think those will become part of the 8th movie and possibly the ninth movie. I think it was the past, the present, and then the future. I think that's what was going on there. And I think she's going to have to fight the Knights of Ren. I think as she's outnumbered by Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren, I think, of course, there's always going to be that one person to save them. It's going to be Chewie. And, I mean, if Kylo Ren, or Ben, what do you want to call him, grew up with Chewie, he would be the next one that he had to kill to cut off ties with the light side. So I think he'll go to kill Chewbacca... But he won't. He just won't be able to do it. I just don't think he'll be able to kill Chewie. And he'll have those visions. Oh, not vi well. He might have visions, or who knows? He might just have a, like a um, what is it? A revelation, I guess you can call it. I don't know. He'll have something like that, and then he'll look at the Knights of Ren. And as if you remember one of the scenes very quickly when. Ray picked up the lightsaber and she was on. She saw the Knights of Ren. She was on the ground and a Knight of Ren was about to hit her and kill her. She, the Knights of Ren, got a lightsaber, a red lightsaber through the back. I think that will be Kylo Ren saving his sister and killing the Knights of Ren. I, I do, I do think the Last Jedi, which is the title of the eighth movie, I think the Last Jedi is Kylo Ren. So I think he's gonna become good, kill the Knights of Ren, he might get injured or something, and they're gonna have to bring him to a back to tank such as Luke. And Anakin, both after their, um, you know, after everything happened to them. Um, what else happens? What else is in my thoughts? Um, there's a lot. I have, a, I have, I don't have it written down. I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head right now. Um, what else is on my mind? Oh yes, I do think that somebody will be taken captive. Hint, hint, toward you know, Princess Leia. But I also think that the end. We ended the seventh movie with Rey trying to give Luke the lightsaber. I think just like Obi Wan Kenobi did and Yoda did, they went to hiding and to exile and everything. That's what Luke did. And in the fifth movie, he found Yoda and they started training to be a Jedi and everything. 
I think in the eighth movie, Rey is going to be the same thing as Luke did with Yoda. You know, Yoda's going to train Luke, Luke's going to train Rey. The same sort of method that they were using. Now, just like the fifth movie, I, I do think we'll see Lando as well. We Hopefully we do see Lando. I think Chewbacca, they'll see, everyone will see Lando, like Leia and Chewbacca. They'll tell him about Han's death. He'll be very disappointed about it. I think something will happen. I think Lando's going to die somehow, some way he'll die. But anyways, back to this Luke thing. I do think when they're in danger, I think they're going to get caught or in trouble. Rey's going to have that sense that they're in danger, and he's, she's going to leave. And uh, Luke's going to leave with her. Instead of Yoda just letting Luke go, I think Luke is going to go with Rey. And that's when I think Rey's going to fight Kylo Ren. All that's going to go down with the Knights of Ren. I think Luke is going to go face-to-face -face with um, Supreme Leader Snoke who is Darth Plagueis, who doesn't die. And what I learned, when I said I was watch I watched all the movies, I remember the first Phantom Menace, Qui-Gon asked Anakin's mom who the father was. And she said he didn't have one. She was just, nat he was just, na like, born. Like, by the, like, from the Force. And that's what made him think he was the chosen one. That's why that came up. But if, how the emperor, uh, how, um, what's his face? Uh, blah, 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 Palpatine said to Anakin in the third movie that he, um, Darth Plagueis was, he could take the uh, Minichlorians and create new life. I think he created the bloodline of the Skywalkers. I think every Skywalker was destined to become bad for him. I think he was the creation of Darth Plagueis, which is why Anakin never had a dad. Which is why he had all this hate and anger built up. Which is why he became Darth Vader. I think all of this was Darth Plagueis' doing. That's what I'm believing right now. And again, like I said, Darth Plagueis is Supreme Leader Snoke. Which is why he's like, oh, okay, we need Luke so he can learn the real truth about him. So no matter how hard Luke fights it, he will become bad eventually. Whether it happens in the 8th or the ninth movie, he will become bad. But I think that in order to get Luke to pr Snoke, they're going to kidnap Leia and use her. Kind of like the fourth movie when they had her and then they had to... Not really... Didn't really do much. But actually it does. That's the fifth movie. They kidnapped... Uh, they, they, they took Chewie and C-3PO and Leia. They froze Han Solo and Carbonite. They took everybody to draw Luke out. And that's again... Another similarity to the 8th movie to the 5th movie that I think they're going to link up just like that. They're going to kidnap Princess Leia and they're going to, you know, force Luke to come out and so he can learn the true identity of his, him, his father, and the whole Skywalker bloodline. <clears throat> Which means, if that's true, if I'm just throwing all this out there by the way, it's not confirmed or anything. But if all of this is what I'm saying is true, which means the Skywalker bloodline is all destined to become bad, starting with Shmi, Anakin's mom, Anakin, Padme, even though Padme didn't really become bad, and she wasn't technically a Skywalker, I guess. But starting with, you know, we'll start with Anakin. Starting with Anakin and Luke and Leia. If that's true, then that means Ren became bad. Of course, but, Han, but that means Rey must have come off of Han Solo being good, or Luke will become bad as well, and Rey will become bad. I don't think that's true, but I think that could, that that's what that means. The whole Skywalker bloodline is destined to become bad, when that and that's why uh, Ben Solo or Kylo Ren became bad, because he was technically a Skywalker. He had Skywalker blood in him, and maybe Rey just didn't get the bad blood. And got more of, you know, Han Solo blood. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the 8th movie. It's a lot. It's 14 minutes and about 24 seconds of what I have. Holy shit. I, I probably... Re you pro oh, I don't even know what I just said all, all this. Anyways, Star Wars Episode 8 comes out sometime in December. We don't know. Of 2017? Yeah, 2017. And we don't know when, but... It's called The Last Jedi. And what I know, or what I believe... Is that... Kylo Ren is the last Jedi because he's going to save Rey, become good, and, you know, be safe, I guess. I don't know. 
But I think Luke is going to lose who he is, and he's going to feel weirded out because he knows the truth of his father and of his whole bloodline, of him, his sister, uh, his dad. It's just very weird. So I think the whole creation of Luke and Anakin is all because of Supreme Leader Snoke, also possibly Darth Plagueis. That's what I'm believing. Anyways, that's all just one huge theory. I don't know if it's true. Doubt it's true, honestly. Um, I don't know, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Whew. And anyways, have a wonderful day. And we will remember this day after the video, after the movie comes out. And we will be like, oh my god, you were right. Or, oh my god, you suck, you were wrong. Whew. Anyways. Everybody, goodbye.